Simak kalian dulu Hey Good morning beautiful people <sighs> It is not good morning Yeah It is 5.30 p.m. And I should be greeting good evening So Sorry for saying good morning But wherever you are Whatever time it is I'm greeting you Check on my rice farm. Oh. We planted with that was on that was on uh, a week ago. Yeah, they've started germinating. As you can see, they started germinating and they are coming up very strongly. How do you plant rice in your, your in your area or your country? I'm in West Africa, Ghana. I'm curious to know how you do it, or you do yours in your community or country. But yeah, two days after they planted it, I came and sprayed it with chemicals so that it took kill the grass that were left after the plowing, that were not killed properly after the the plowing so that when it comes up I won't like it don't demand that I should come early and start weeding it you see that the grass the grasses are not many as compared if I haven't sprayed any chemical on it One thing I like about this community is that everywhere is just green. The grass has made everything beautiful. Look at that. You can see it yourself. Very serene, beautiful, green grass. Oh my goodness. That is the amazing thing about this community. Like, you have nothing to worry about. You get so close to nature. Yeah, whether you have money or you don't have money you don't have any problem and the community as well are very connected like if if a community member falls sick each and every member of 
this community like the 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 the, 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 the neighbors they'll come to the house to look after the person who is sick like they'll come and greet him or her asking him how is he doing how they can help him or her and the lord that is the amazing thing about this so so special like if you don't like this village i don't think you ever like your village anywhere again look at that so special look at the horizon and the sun is setting down so amazing rocks green grass trees not so crowded like that cattle things that a human being would like are found in this village yeah so amazing Whether you are rich, you are poor, whatever. No. As far as if others fall sick, can you go in? If others fall sick, can you go and look after them? Or go and ask? Or are very concerned about them? Same will be done to you when you also fall sick. You'll come there to do whatever is necessary. Sometimes they give money and a lot. It's very amazing. And that's one thing I love about this. I like I love staying at villages. Their culture, everything is just unique. Look at the surrounding. Everywhere is just green. So, with trees and sounds of animals and insects that you've not seen before. Everywhere. That draws you closer to nature. You see the you see egrets. They're flying over there. I hope you can hear the sound. <whistles> hope you hear that. That's cool. So cool. Man. It's it's it reminds us of nature and how those towns and cities have been originated or where they've been originated from we all started like this yeah, more or less like garden of eden See? it's so amazing came to check on my check on this way this car over there the black one it's been there for about 15 years old car and this one too is very old but not as compared to the black one over there yeah and this white one here she's my friend very friendly so cool so down to air to see it doesn't use the horn to hurt people and that one is very afraid of people Hey, come and join me here. Let's let's play with my friend here. Yeah, we call it Ebina. Yeah. 
Elba. Her name is Amina. His call is. His call Amina. But if I read it by, I can sell it. Yeah. It's very, very expensive. It's like it's very cool. Good evening. How are you doing? Hope you guys are doing very well. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification notification button notification button so that whenever I I upload a new movie, <laughs> you will to see Sri Alafa B. <laughs> All that I'm saying is that just turn on the notification button, subscribe and turn on so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. Please don't forget to support me, mm. and I'll also forget to surprise you guys with new videos and amazing videos. You are going to enjoy it, so don't forget to support your boy. A good juice. Bye bye. Bye. For now. Now. Thank you very much Thank for you. watching the movie. For this video. <laughs> Yay. Bye bye. I hear you. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a kind of it's a kind of um, a nomadic uh, people, but they, they are not nomads. They wreck uh, cattle, goats, as you can see over there. Goats, sheep, but they don't move about or around with them. Like in the dry season, they leave them to roam around. But when, whenever it is in the rainy season, they will come them at one side. So we tie this one at one side to protect it from going about and spoiling people's farm. And others here too. See that we don't allow them to roam around. Spoiling people's farms, but people do have sheep, goats, and cattle here. A house can have about 100, 200, 300, or thousands of sheep, goats, and cattle, but they don't move them around except one tribe in Ghana here that allows it uh, cattle or that move with the cattle, and that is the Fulani people, yeah. But they are not, some of them are around here, but you, you hardly see them. Yeah, they move around. They can go and stay at one place for maybe a year or six months and then move on again. They don't just stay at a fixed place for a very long time. Yeah, and you look at this community is so special. Look at rocks everywhere. You see rocks everywhere and trees. Look at that. 